Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today we have a video from the Chocolate Cafe. Uh, we are just going to be showing different highlights of different things, as well as some of the interesting Pokemon I found or interesting chain. I sat there for about three hours, I think, uh, maybe just a little bit under. Uh, we had a couple of... I had one friend with me, and then there were uh, several groups of people at this cafe as well. Uh, I think some just mooching because we had lures out, and some just uh, just hanging out at the, at the cafe. Uh, it's a really nice cafe. As you can see, there are three uh, pokey stops right in a row by it. Uh, also, I wanted to say that uh, coming here soon, I'll have videos of actually where I went and what it looks like and stuff like that that I'll pop up on the screen uh, just at different times showing you... Um, where I was and uh, what it looked like because obviously you don't get any indication on what it is or what it looks like by the video because it's I don't have the automated or yeah automated reality on uh, because I I just didn't think it would it would look weird in the cafe I'm sitting in the same spot you would just see different people in the background so I thought they are augmented reality why did I say automate augmented reality there we go um, and so you would just see different people in the background, and it didn't look good for video purposes. Uh, and also, I wanted to keep my phone on the table uh, instead of having to hold it up in the different areas. Uh, it's just easier to be in the augmented reality. Uh, that's simply why it's being done like this. Uh, I will do my best. My notifications are annoying. Like, on my new iPhone, it doesn't work to hit... Uh, it, do not disturb mode doesn't work. <laughs> Like, doesn't work. It worked on my old iPhone, it just doesn't work. I have to go through and manually turn off all the notifications. Uh, I'll have that done here in the next... I think I have two more videos. I have another... This is a two-parter uh, between this and the second half of the cafe. Uh, so, the second half of the cafe contains a lot of the more... Uh, it contains the rarest Pokemon that I've caught to date, as well as all of the evolutions and kind of an overall little recap. This is just the beginning. I did miss some uh, Pokemon uh, the, to record at the very beginning. Uh, it just wouldn't let me. My Mac was just not complying. It wouldn't let me record on it. It just kept saying um, connection to the device is severed like two seconds into the video or something like that. It was just, it, it was having connection issues. It had nothing to do with my phone or the wire. It was all the Mac. I know it. Uh, it, but the Mac figured it out, and we've been good since. I recorded, what, 60 minutes worth of game play, so, uh, we are sitting good now. I think we should be all good. I've got plenty of ideas for different areas that I'm going to take this. Um, I want to, I, I need to go to Chicago to get a pair of shoes, I think, so I might go ahead and sit down in a cafe there and, and, uh, do a little recording. I may be going to Indy. My cousins, uh, live in Indy, and, uh, we're, like, uh, my two cousins, well, I have more than two, but two of my cousins, um, they're like my sisters, uh, so I do a lot of things with them, and I hang out with them, so I may be going, uh, down to Indianapolis to see them, which means maybe after I was done, uh, with whatever activities or whatever they wanted to do, uh, before I headed home, I could go check out a coffee shop and sit down there. Um, another thing is... Uh, when I am at college, which doesn't start for like a month and a half, but when I'm there, I'm in the same classroom for like nine hours straight on Tuesday, so I thought like doing a Tuesday video where it's just whatever I caught while I was sitting in the classroom, because I'm going to take both my laptops. Uh, one's more of my school laptop and my editing laptop, and then one of them's more of my, uh, just mess around, uh, laptop so it's more of my like watch youtube videos do watch movies stuff like that that's what my mac is for and now it's for recording iphone footage obviously uh so i thought about that um the park the park is coming up in a couple of days uh it was crazy you guys know i've been hunting for vulpix it's been on the side of the screen well there were vulpix at the park and i caught a couple i'm super hyped i lost the super strong one uh, which was kind of sad. I think it was a 400 Vulpix. I just did this today, but you guys will see it in two days. Uh, and I was super hyped about finding Vulpix. It's crazy. It's so much fun. I really love this app. I don't know. For such a simple concept, I'm really loving the app. I'm still loving it. Two weeks later, after I 
first installed it. I know I've been kind of hiatus with these videos, but I've been really busy, and I'm getting now to sit down and do a little bit of, um, it's kind of hard because I have to do a 20, was a 23 minute post com, uh, and I have to come up with stuff to talk about, and I really haven't even gotten into anything I wanted to talk about, but I have to talk about different things because I have to figure out what I want to talk about because for 23 minutes I can't just sit here and ramble. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, we actually found a Lapras. There was a group of guys. Um, it popped up on our nearby, and you guys know the three-step glitch is real. And I didn't want to go running around town looking for this Lapras, not knowing, not being able to find out which direction. But there were these th three guys um, who were really nice to everybody in the coffee shop. They went out and they tried to find the Lapras, and they said they'd send one of them back. They never found it. Uh, they came back and they. They said they went in, an, in seven different directions. They were gone for like 45 minutes, but they went and, f and the Lapras didn't disappear. The Lapras was still there for a while. It was there for like an hour, but they couldn't find it, and it, w it was disappointing. I really wanted the Lapras, um, but in time, in time, I'll get the Lapras. Uh, the coffee shop was really nice because it had water Pokemon. It had a lot of water Pokemon, which I want. I still need a couple more gold deans. I'm, I'm going back to the coffee shop next week. I think it's going to be Wednesday. Uh, and I need to get a gold dean. I need to get uh, a couple more shelters. Um, I need to get, obviously, magic carps. We're still on that, that magic carp grind. Um, but those aren't too big of a deal. I'll get there eventually. Squirtles, horsies. Oh, I need horsies. That's right. I need a, I need a decent chunk of horsies. I think that's about it. I just need some water Pokemon. Um, there were some Dragonites around in the gym, so I thought maybe we'd get lucky and maybe I'd find a Dragonite. Uh, that's not exactly how it went down, but still, I thought it was, it was, it was decent, I guess, um, uh, I did find a decent good amount of Pokemon. I had to catch like 250 Pokemon or something crazy like that. I kept trading them in. Drowsies were unreal, man. Drowsies were crazy. Like next level crazy how many Drowsies I caught. Um, there, you're going to see an evolution in this episode. But on top of that, there are four Drowsy evolutions in the Hypnos at the end of the next episode. At the final evolution part, uh, there's just a bunch of... Uh, drowsies there, so you'll have to keep an eye out uh, at the end of that, see if there's anything in there that you guys like, uh, but I should have, I think I have six drow or six hypnos now, they're all pretty strong, um, I'm actually starting to build up a really nice team, I eclipsed the 100,000 Stardust, and then I proceeded to uh, spend it on a, uh, I'll, I won't spoil it, but there's a 10k egg that I, km egg that I hatch, and it hatches something I, I like. Um, I didn't get anything I wanted uh, in particular out of the 10Ks, but uh, I did get one guy who I really liked, and I powered him all the way up as high as I could. He's sitting at 1330, and he is my highest combat power Pokemon. Um, already down to 80,000 um, uh, Stardust, but easy grind back up to 100K. Uh, I wanted to level him up. I just wanted to have one beastly Pokemon, uh, and that's exactly what I have now with the certain 10km Pokemon egg that you'll see hatched in Sunday's video. Um, also at the cafe, I was having issues uh, with the GPS pinpointing me into the right spot. I purposely sat down in between all three, because that's what you want to do, obviously. Uh, but it just didn't seem to want to, my GPS just didn't seem to want to put me there. It was kind of, it acted like almost like it was confused. It would walk me in different directions, um, and it just wouldn't ever settle. Early in the clips, you'll see that uh, that I am centered, and then as it goes on, I get moved over to the left, or I get moved over to the right, and it was really frustrating. There were a couple other guys at the cafe who had to keep running outside and running back in to reset the, uh, the GPS so that it would put them back in the center. Uh, it just kind of sucked, um, but there's nothing I could do about it. I didn't want to have to keep running out 
uh, like they were doing. Like, they were running out, like, every five minutes. I was like, yeah, I'm not about to run outside and leave all my, leave my Mac and all this crap on the table. Like, that's enough. Like, I'm not doing that. So, while, while I did experience some issues with that, it was overall a really nice trip. I enjoyed it to the cafe. Uh, never actually been to the cafe. I've been to the other cafe that's, like, right next to it, and I really like that one, too. Uh, but this cafe was nice as well. I'll definitely be heading back to it uh, to do some Pokemon Go. Um, I'm pretty excited to go back, uh, see what else I can find. Um, I want to go on a really, um, maybe on a rainy day. Maybe, might just I might just hold out and go and just go on the sunny day. But uh, I kind of want to go on a rainy day so I could get, uh, see what other Pokemon maybe that I could find. Um, but probably may not find anything more. I'm still not 100% sure how lures work. I need to figure that out. Here's one of the hypnos that I actually caught. I did catch a couple of hypnos. That was nice. Uh, but when all three of these were lured, it was lit. It was, lit. It was just crazy. Um, and it was, it was super fun um, to have all these lures set up. Uh, I don't live in a big town myself, so uh, driving, this is only about a half hour away, uh, but driving there was nice because I got to experience the triple lured. Um, I hadn't, I hadn't had that all uh, my whole time playing Pokemon Go, so I was pretty excited to have, to have that, uh, to to be able to. What am I trying to say? To be able to uh, just sit there and just have Pokemon spawn after spawn after spawn, because I'm so used to having to incense after incense after incense and it was nice being able to really hatch a bunch of poke or catch a bunch of pokemon and not have to worry about running out of uh pokeballs or not what am i trying to say running out of incense or having to spend more money to get incense and stuff like that so that was a really nice uh added part to that uh also there was um a decent, I did have some issues with the Pokestops not spitting out stuff for me, uh, but I don't think it was too big of a deal. I ended up kind of kind of getting it solved, so it worked out all right. Um, there's a lot of trains in here. I think my best train was like seven or, was it eight or nine Pokemon in a row, which was really cool. It was really nice. Um, I was happy to catch a lot of seals. I want to get myself a dugong. Um, I'm really hoping they get this three-step glitch fixed. It's been a thing for a really long time now. Like, has it been a week of the three-step glitch? Like, I wish they really need to to get out and fix this issue because it's it's a really big one and it's really kind of screwing everything up. And I'm I'm hoping that they'll they'll do something about it. But who knows? Uh, I guess we're I guess I'm just we'll just live. We're living at their mercy of when they fix it. Uh, they rolled out, like, a small update, um, not that it wasn't anything special, it was just a tiny update, uh, it just said, like, minor text fixes, so I don't know what that was all about, I wish they would, you know, fix <laughs> the current issues that they have, but, I don't know, that's just me, we'll, uh, we'll see what they do, uh, here in the future about fixing some of these issues, uh, everybody's sitting and waiting, hoping for more Pokemon or legendary events right now. That's what I'm sitting and waiting for, too. That's why I was on such a grind to level 20. Or, not level 20, to, um... To, yeah, to level 20. What am I trying to say? Level 20. Now I'm on the grind to get, uh, the Pokédex completed. Uh, because I have heard speculation as well that to compete in some of the legendary events or, le or special gyms or anything like that that they may add in the future, you may need your Pokédex complete. Uh, so that they know that you're a hardcore player and that you're avidly playing their game, I guess is what I, I guess is what I'll say about that. So they know that you're you're dedicated you're a dedicated Pokemon Go player. So we're two we're, we're about two weeks and a couple days into the cycle of this game, and I'm I'm just wondering how long the hype is gonna last. Uh, it's been doing really well, um, by all accounts that I can tell. It's still going really strong there's still people pissed about there's still people raging about the servers daily on uh, all this different stuff so it seems like we still got a decent player pool still playing i haven't seen any of my friends get bored of it yet and quit i still have a lot of friends playing pokemon go uh, so i'm pretty excited about that um i need to get better on hunting but i need to get my 
I need to not have, I need to have my three star, I need to have the three star glitch gone uh, before I can really work on, here's one of the seals that I caught, um, Dugong is one of my favorite Pokemon too, uh, so especially with the original, it's a 157 or whatever it is, you guys know what I'm talking about, the, the original Gen 1 Pokemon, uh, Dugong, Ninetales, Arcanine, Dragonite, Charizard, those are my favorite Pokemon, I think. There's probably others that I'm forgetting, but those are the ones that, you know, immediately come to mind when I'm, like, when if someone asks, like, what are your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon? Those are going to be the first ones that come to my mind. I'm going to think of those. Uh, and it's just been, it's been kind of rough trying to get Vulpix, or, or to get Vulpix and Growlithe in order to get a Ninetales and Arcanine. People have found them in the wild, and I am so jelly. Like, like, I've got friends tweeting me, like, they've got, like, 1,300 Arcanines, and I'm like, this this is just unfair. Like, as badly as I want Arcanine and and, and uh, Ninetales, I don't, you, you couldn't give me, you can't give me one of them. Like, you couldn't hook, couldn't hook me up with let me find one of them, but I just gotta stay on my grind, and eventually I'll, I'll find the Pokemon that I want. Still haven't even seen a Dratini on my map, on my nearby thing. Uh, Porygon is going to be, oh uh, gosh, Porygon is going to be horrible to find. He is definitely, I'm going to assume, to be the last Pokemon that I catch. I can't foresee me catching any, I don't foresee anything taking me longer to catch than, than Porygon. I, I only know one YouTuber that has him. I think, and I just don't know that many people that have Borygon. Like, it's just crazy. I didn't even know, actually know that you could even get him. You can actually see that Dragonite right there in the background at that gym. I went, it was like a 1400 Dragonite. Like, it was crazy. I was like, man, this guy's got, this guy's got a clean, nice Pokemon in the two, first two weeks. Um, I'm wondering, like, okay, so powering up your Pokemon is level dependent. Like, since I'm level 21, I can level them up higher than, like, an 18. Um, but I'm wondering if there's a cap or if, like, I don't know what the level max is. Is it level 100? Would make sense if it was level 100. Uh, then is that where... Because people have got put pictures of, like, four or 5,000 CP Pokemon. Um, obviously not theirs, but they ha and they could be Photoshopped, but they looked, they looked real. And I don't get, like, the point of Photoshopping that. Um... They weren't, like, claiming they were theirs. They were just, like, here's a photo of a really strong Pokemon. Here you go. Uh, but I don't really know the context. But you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys have seen those on Twitter and then on YouTube videos. Um, finally, I guess I'll talk about one last thing. And that is kind of, like, lure etiquette. Uh, if you're going to go use someone's lure, like, I was the first person to set up the lure here. Uh, there was one other setup, and then I set up, so there were two, and it really attracted a lot of people. Uh, and we all seemed to have decent etiquette. There was probably a few mooching, but we all seemed to have pretty good etiquette uh, refilling the uh, the lure module so that we could all continue to uh, catch Pokemon. There was one guy that was really nice. Uh, he looked like he was about 30. He looked like he was loaded, but he just kept filling up a couple of... Like, one time he filled up all three before I could even get mine open and, you know, put one in there and help out the cause. He he had filled them all up. Uh, he was a cool guy. He came over and talked to... He was talking to everybody. He was just... He was cool. He had a pretty nice collection. Um, I'd say better than, better than mine. Uh, not by much, but it, it was nice. He had some of the Pokemon. He had a Dragonite. Uh, he actually said he found a Dratini... Uh, like area, uh, he's he he's from he was where was he from? He w he wasn't from the area, um, but he made like frequent business trips to my area, and he said he found out like a hotbed for Dratinis. I think he had like a 1390 Dragonite, which was nice. He was level 23 or something like that. He said um, his business trips usually take him only about 10 minutes. <laughs> They're real quick, like sales pitches, and then you know he gets to hang out for two days in the city, wherever he is, and he says, it's just, it's been really easy to just go to a coffee shop, hang out, catch some Pokemon, and then head on back home, uh, but let me, let me get back to the etiquette, um, just make sure and, uh, help with the lures, don't, don't just mooch, like, if you're gonna sit there for hours with people, try to throw at least one lure module in there, be a little bit helpful, don't, don't completely mooch, um, 
Because lure modules, if enough of them are used, people are spending money for those. I mean, they're helping you out. You're getting relatively free. Or, you know, if you are if you don't have the money to keep ponying up uh, lure modules, just say thank you if you know who who uh, who is setting the modules down. Uh, just, just throw out a thank you. Um, I said thanks to that guy. He was throwing a bunch out for everyone, so it was really nice. So... Um, everybody appreciated uh, what he was doing. Um, I did too. Uh, I, I really did appreciate. He, he was helping us all out. He was giving us. A, he didn't give me any tips that I didn't know, but he was trying to give out tips and stuff like that because he had spent extensive time uh, playing the game and kind of like researching and studying and knowing exactly what he's doing. Because uh, he said he's got all this free time because his sales pitches and stuff don't take that long, and so. He said he's really gotten into the game uh, and all of that different stuff, um, but I'm hoping I'm hoping to take a couple of friends with me the next time I go, so that maybe we can definitely uh, keep those modules lured um, and get the three stack of modules like we are seeing here at the end of the video, where all of these stupid drowsy. I'm so sick of drowsies. Now I'm finding them at my house. I hadn't found a single drowsy at my house, I don't think, until I went over to this, went over to uh, the city and caught my first drowsy. And I was like, oh yeah, woo, drowsy. Now I can't get rid of these things. I can't get rid of these SOBs. It's getting, it's just getting out of hand uh, with these stupid drowsies. Uh, but guys, I think that's, um, that's about it for this video. I'll start wrapping it up here. We're getting near the end. Um, like I said, just try to make sure you do a little bit of uh, lure module etiquette. At least say thank you if you know who did it, or uh, or throw a lure module in if you can. It's always nice to not make a few um, waste all their lure modules when there's a ton of people there. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, but in the next episode, guys, we'll continue. Uh, you'll see more trains. You'll see more nice catches. You'll see one of my best catches. Uh, in Pokemon Go to date, uh, and it's pretty hype. It's a really weak uh, combat power Pokemon, but it's pretty hype that I found it. Um, I actually didn't even know. I, I think it's on the rarity of some of the other, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't take my word on it. I think it's pretty rare, but I can't really confirm it because it's just my personal uh, experience. And then we also get through all the evolutions and all the... Um, I think it's just all the evolutions. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to improve these videos. Um, I'm tr trying my best. Uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of a new thing for me to be recording my iPhone and stuff like that out in public. So I'm still trying to get a little bit more used to it. Um, but make sure to drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I think that'll do it for this one, guys. Enjoy the final few seconds, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.